If you like what you see on the channel, please take a second and hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps supporting the channel and I can put out new content at least once a week. Hey everybody, it's Larry from Flying Out Comics. Today in this video I want to show you uh, and talk to you about removing staple rust from a Golden Age staple or a Silver Age staple. Now this is a big detractor, especially when we go to take a comic book and have it graded by CGC or CBCS. Now, what we're going to use in this example today is a staple from a Golden Age comic from 1953. The stems on the staple look very nice, however the exterior part of the staple that we see on the spine of the comic book has um, well, for the most part, iron oxide on the staple. Now, it's got a nice bronze color to it. Now, there's several things you can do. You can replace the staple with one from a donor book or a cadaver book, as I like to call it, or you can actually make your own staple. Dr. Paul's got a great video on how to make a staple. Now, when doing this, it's clearly obvious that it's a new staple, it's new metal. Um, we can't recreate that beautiful bronze color that it, you know comes with the Golden Age staple. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to use electrolysis. And I'm going to show you how to build a very simple, um, just using batteries and uh, some copper wire, and how to remove the rust. So let's get to it. So we've removed the lower staple from the book. And this is what it looks like. As we showed before, the, 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 the coloring of this staple, it's got that slight bronzy color to it. That's the patina that we want to retain for with the original staple. However, we do have this, this iron oxide deposit on the very top of the staple. So let's go ahead and start our cleaning process. Okay, we're going to get started here. Now, the first thing I wanted to start with was a little bit of a lesson in electrolysis. Now, what we're going to do is apply a small amount of voltage through uh, water that we're going to make conductive using uh, soda ash. It changes the pH level of the water and will allow the um, electrons, so to speak, to flow through the water from the staple to a piece of steel. So we can do this with a battery. I've got a 12 volt battery here. Uh, you can do it, you can put together some D cell batteries. You could do all sorts of uh, things with that. However, in this particular case, I like to use a power supply. So I'm gonna move this out of the way so everybody can see everything. So what I've got in front of me is a copper wire. We're going to twist this up uh, and we're going to attach our staple, which is right here. You've seen that in the close-ups and the, under the microscope. And on the other end, I have a piece of steel from my garage. And again, this is just copper wire, nothing special. I found this in some Romex that was in my garage. I stripped it out and it just has to be something conductive. Uh, copper works great, obviously. Um, just a very small amount of soda ash. Um, so we're going to stir this into the water. This is just tap water. So I'm using a beaker today. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because it just makes it easier for you to see. So I'm going to go ahead and let this settle and mix in. And we'll get that uh, stirred up. It takes a little bit for it to fully dissolve in the water. So we'll just give this a hand and I'll probably... I think the best thing is to pause the video for the moment and we'll come back once it's ready. Okay, our mixture is done. It's clear uh, the electrolyte is mixed up. So what we're going to do now is create um, the setup. So what we have, uh, first of all, is an anode and a cathode. Now the cathode is going to be uh, our copper wire here, which I've took the liberty of uh, pre-bending right there. And I put a little hook in it so we can hold our staple. And then we have the anode, which is 
the uh, piece of steel, uh, scrap steel from my garage. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put this in like this. We are going to connect the positive to the anode because this is the direction of the flow of the metal uh, from the staple to the uh, uh, to to the anode, or from the cathode to the anode. So uh, the negative will attach to our cathode. I'm going to go ahead and place our our staple on the hook and let it hang. And we'll just put this over the edge here. I'll get. Don't worry. I'll give you a close up once we get everything hooked up. And We'll go ahead and attach our negative cable to the copper. Let's see if I can get this without making a mess out of things so we can put it in the middle. Okay, that's a good view. Let me move the camera a little bit. Okay, so now we can see the staple in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn on the power supply. There it goes. And as you can see, the staple immediately starts to bubble. What is happening is, is uh, the rust is coming off. We're going to leave it in here for about an hour. Um, and that should uh, basically convert uh, any remaining rust off of the staple. It will transmit over to the other side here. And we'll show you the results. The staple is going to be black afterwards. Uh, what we're going to do, and I'll show you once we get it all done, is we're going to rub it with a, uh, a very fine um, cloth, not sandpaper, but just cloth, a paper towel suffice, uh, just to get all the blackness off, and then we're going to look at it again underneath the microscope when it's done. Okay, you see over here all the steel and things coming off of it. Don't worry, the direction of flow is upwards. So it's going to settle on top. I'll show you what this is going to look like when it's all done. Okay, we're back. Now, the stuff all on the bottom here, that actually sloughed off the uh, steel plate. There's a lot of this that's kind of greenish. That's copper from that copper wire. So no panics here. But as you can see, the red iron oxide, that is not all from the staple, but you notice that it is pushing off and uh, piling up. So this is exactly what we want. So we're going to go ahead and stop the uh, process now and we'll remove the staple uh, from the tank. Okay, so here's our staple. We're going to go ahead and take this uh, and look at it underneath the microscope now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, polish it up. And uh, we'll just rub off this black and uh, let's take a look. Now I've rubbed this down with a cloth. I said paper towels before, but it was being a little bit stubborn. So I picked an actual cloth uh, with a little bit of grain to it, but it polished up very nicely. Now, as you can see that we've maintained the patina, the, the coloring of the staple for the most part, and we are reusing the original staple, which was the ultimate end goal. And as always, if you like what you see here at the channel, please like and subscribe. I try to put out a video at least once a week. Uh, that's supposed to be educational and to help you conserve your comics and uh, make your collection last for years to come.